Today we'll be fishing the Castle River in southern Alberta along with one of its major tributaries, the beautiful Carbondale River. Here I am and I'm ready to rock. I got my hip waders on but I ain't got no socks. Got some flies and some lures in my tackle box. Yeah, I'll fish anywhere, even out of the docks. So get your fish on. Come on, come on. I got a fish on. So won't you come on and fish with me? Wow. Don't you know it'll set you free? We're gonna <laughs> get some big fishies. So come on and fish with me. Just a few seconds ago we saw a trout rise right out here just off this log, so we're going to see if we can get him to come up to our fly. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. Yeah, I think he felt the hook too, unfortunately. Despite missing this opportunity, Steve hooks into a big bull trout just downstream. Oh yeah. I tell you, this is a big bull trout. Is it a bull? It, I, I'm sure it's a bull. I saw it and uh, I was just stripping. I had cast out and across, let it drift down. And I was stripping this uh, big clouser minnow in, just little strips at a time and all of a sudden wham. And, uh, and I saw him and it's, it's a good sized bull trout. It looks big. Yeah, it is. I saw it flash behind there. Oh yeah, that's a nice trout. Oh yeah. Whew. I'm a little concerned. I have 4X tippet on here, but. Beautiful. Steve draws the bull trout closer to the net. Beautiful fish. All right, let's walk this move away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was nice. That was nice. First one. Yeah, first good. That's the biggest bull trout I've ever caught. I've caught a couple small ones before this, but that was nice. Awesome. Yeah, they do exist. That's good. Yep. Cool. Now yeah, we've we've heard that uh, these bull trout get up to eight or nine pounds in here. And uh, that'd be a lot of fun to catch one of those. But we've just been, uh, let it let it drag downstream, got a clouser minnow on the below a strike indicator, and I've just been stripping it in a little bit at a time. Now that I've caught one fish, see, I'm a bull trout expert. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yep. More than I have. Yep. The Castle River is surrounded by majestic mountains. The river gets its name from Castle Mountain, the one on the left. This mountain looks like a castle fortress. Just, just fell off. Steve's net fell off and was caught by the river's current and slowly drifted away. Steve tried one last desperate attempt to catch the net. <laughs> It's going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. It's toast. You want to just watch the net go bye bye? Hey, sir. Yes. Hey, you want to try to catch our net with your lure? Our net? You want to try to catch our net with your lure? There's no way. Right out in front of you. He didn't catch it. That's all right. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. Well, we moved over from the Castle River to the Carbondale, 
and this is a tributary of the Castle River. We've heard it's pretty good fishing, so we're gonna try this for a while. It's a little slow on the castle. And there's supposedly some bull trout in here, even though I think we're gonna target uh, cutthroats and maybe, maybe, maybe hook into a rainbow. Yep, yep. So and if we see a good bull trout hole, we'll hit it with flies for a bull trout. Sounds good, now that we have an expert here. All right. Let's do it. Oh, darn it! After missing the first strike, I was ready on the second. Oh yeah, oh, it's a good fish. It's pretty good, pretty good cut, fairly strong. What'd you get him on? Uh, it's a prince, prince nymph. Oh, I tell you, that prince is some kind of fly. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere we've been. Okay, yeah, I just cast the prince nymph right over that little riffle there. And uh, it's just going down, and I had a bite earlier, and I lost my fly, and then I just had another good strike. So that's great. Yeah, that's a good fish. yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, I'll net him, lad. Sure. And woo, there he goes. All right, that was fun. Yes, it was. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, your outdoor lifestyle store, located in Coeur d'Alene on the corner of Highway 95 and Canfield. So one of the things that uh, is not introduced to a lot of beginners is uh, river etiquette. You know, the distance that Josh and I have here uh, quite simply is fine, only because we're in the same, same party here. You know, and the fact of the matter remains that a lot of the places we fish are public land, uh, but if somebody's already established a spot, there's no need to crowd them. That there is plenty of river, and really, you don't need to do anything like this. So, uh, you know, treat others as you wish to be treated. Don't, uh, what's the deal here? Oh, no big deal. Yeah, thanks a lot. For, for nothing. <laughs> Hey, Ladin, can I borrow some of that soft lead? Sure. Here's a tip for you folks on uh, saving a little time when you're fishing, and that is organize your fly vests. You know, you put similar th things in the same pocket every time, flies in one area, leaders in another area, so you always know where to get stuff when you're in a hurry and there's a hatch on and you want to get a catch a fish. Steve! Steve, what? I can't find it. Sorry. Hey, you need to organize your vest. Steve, it's a good one. The big fish headed downstream. Wow, it feels like a rainbow. I don't know, it's a good fighter. I don't know what this is, but it's a good fish. It's weighty. Holy smokes! Boy, it's fighting like a bow. No net? Okay, that's a bummer. Oh, it's a cut. It's a cut. And it's a nice one. Oh yeah! Yeah, it is a big fat cut. Where is it? Yeah, that's a cut. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. Oh, man, that's nice. Swim away. Man, I tell you, this Carbondale action is unbelievable, folks. Uh, we left the castle. Decided to come here, and I'm so glad we did already. Tell you what, I think we got a lot of stuff in store for us too, Steve. I do too. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, this waterfall is beautiful. Yeah, it is. I bet you there could be some nice trout right below these falls here. Yeah, this hole right here looks great. Try some dries. Yeah, I think. 
Down in there. Oh yeah. First cast with the prints in here. It's a cutthroat. Think? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a good fish. Oh wow, that's something else. You took the upper fly. Nice fish. Ah, there he goes. All right. It's a good cut. Yeah, it was. It's pretty deep water. Mm -hmm. So I've got a, I don't know if you can see that or not. But I've got a prince about three feet below this prince, and then about two feet below a, a dropper, and the top one's the one that he took. Interesting. Yeah, surprised me. But I'll take it. Hmm. It was my turn to try my luck below the falls, and with the precision of an expert, I laid out my cast. Okay, I'm casting my dry fly out and just letting it swirl around in these foam lines. Uh, we've seen some couple rises right in these feeding lanes and I think the water back eddy is right in here and it's a pretty good opportunity for trout to just lie low and come up and get an easy meal. I'm trying to give them one. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> that was fun. Woo! Spice day. And let's give him some oxygen upstream. Swam away. All right. That was a lot of fun. I love dry fly fishing, as folks probably tell. Good job. It was cool to watch. Thank you. It's fun to do. Good? Yep. The Castle River area is known for being one of the highest grizzly populations in all of Canada. Don't let this deter you, for sightings are rare. Just be sure to exercise caution. Upriver, Steve tries his luck. Oh, one jumped. Big ride. Got him. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah. Well, we probably don't have a bad again, dude. Yeah, it's behind us. Oh, I lost him. Oh, no. Darn it. Darn it. Shoot! Oh, Dave! <laughs> Darn it, that was a good fish. That was. Shoot. That was. Good fish. Shoot. Darn it! Ah, that was absolutely perfect. Except for losing him, I guess, but it's cool. Saw him rise, cast right to him, hit it again, and it was a nice fish. Oh well. On Fishing with Latin, we would like you to send us some of your home videos of the fish you've caught. However, send us a copy because we won't be able to send them back. Some home videos will be selected to air on our show. This home video is sent in by Ed Foster. 
who grapples with the Columbia River salmon with a little help from his dad. We do appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Keep a pump. That's it. You're looking at it. This is the pump. And he gives a left and I give a right. Hey, if that's a steelhead, it's a buff. Stay down. <sighs> oh, he's got to go ahead, of course. Is that, that, it looks like salmon now yeah, to me. Yeah. <sighs> well, this is not steelhead, Jude. This is salmon. Oh. What a ride. Beautiful. Yeah, that way. It's uh, 16 and a half. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Oh. Fisherman de jour. Deluxe. Yeah, and that's what it's too. all about. Yeah. <clears throat> Ridiculous. Got him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gosh, he keeps he's coming right at me. Little bugger. It's <laughs> attacking. It's a decent fish, too. It's a good fighter. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, it's a nice one. I mean, oh, beautiful. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just amazing. Came out of that little chunk of water there. Man, that's a fat fish again. Oh. Carbonyl River. Man. Nice. It's just totally bigger than I expected. Out of it. Yeah. I mean, this is not a big river. Folks. No. It's Very nice. Yeah. Gosh, it's got to be 14, 15 yeah. inches. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Just before dark here. Yes. One more. It's time for one more. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. It's your turn. All right. Well, I never did hook another fish. Darkness forced us off the river. However, the fish we did catch, along with the scenery and the solitude of the castle and the Carbondale rivers, made this place an unforgettable destination and one I would certainly recommend to anybody.